to agree or disagree with this statement. If John F. Kennedy had not been killed in 63, the world would be a very different place today. 55% agreed, only 34% disagreed. And despite those numbers, for all who remember it, the day JFK was shot was a day that time stood still. Our national correspondent, Jamie Gangel, looks back with four people who were eyewitnesses. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Bryant. Sam Kinney was a Secret Service agent. Nellie Connolly was the wife of Texas Governor John Connolly and was in the car with the Kennedys. Matt Kilduff, Assistant Press Secretary to the President, had the grim task of announcing his death. And then finally, Evelyn Lincoln, who was his personal secretary. These four people remember every detail of that day in Dallas. There's Mrs. Kennedy, and the crowd yells, and the President of the United States. We arose that morning early to go out and prepare the cars because it was raining and and uh, we were trying to make a decision whether to leave the bubble top on or off. Skies broke and so I said, well, there's a decision right there, no tops, because we are there on a political motorcade and uh, President Kennedy wanted to meet the people. I was driving the follow-up car right behind him. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade group. And I saw the president grab his neck and then by that time there was, there was two falling shots just like a pow pow and all of a sudden one lousy damn bullet will destroy this man and family for what the thing that brings tears to my eyes is every time even to this day when i see john john saluting that uh, it hits me very hard. Two car coming up now. We see Mrs. Kennedy's pink suit. There's a Secret Service man spread eagle over the top of the car. I ran over to the car, and Mrs. Kennedy was holding the president's head in her lap. But I'll be very frank with you. It still never occurred to me that I had just witnessed an assassination of the president. Uh, the physician told me that the president was dead. I realized then that I would have to make the announcement. I went to this area in the uh, trauma area where they were holding President Johnson. And so I walked up to him, and, and really, I did not know Johnson that well. And I didn't know what to call him. And I called him Mr. President. And Lady Bird sort of screamed. Because that was the first indication that Lyndon Johnson had that John Kennedy was dead.